How to use ClickUp for agency. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. For today's video, we will be exploring how to use ClickUp as a powerful project management tool specifically tailored for agencies. ClickUp is a versatile platform that offers a wide range of features and functionalities to help agencies streamline their workflow, collaborate effectively, and deliver exceptional results for their clients. If you're an agency owner or part of an agency team, ClickUp can be an invaluable tool to centralize your project, task, and communication in one place. It provides a robust set of project management features including task management, team collaboration, time tracking and reporting to help you stay organized and meet deadlines and exceed client expectation. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the process of setting up a ClickUp for your agency. We'll show you how to create and manage project, assign tasks to team members, set priority and due dates, track progress through each project's lifecycle, and you'll also learn how to utilize collaboration features such as comments, file sharing, proofing tools to enhance your teamwork and ensure seamless communication with your clients. So let's get started. Now right now, all you need to do first is go to ClickUp.com. As you can see here on our screen, this is their homepage. If you would like to know more about ClickUp, different information about them, you can explore this homepage over here. Now for us, we're first going to sign up. To be able to sign up, you're simply going to enter your work email in this section and click on get started. It is a very simple process, so all you need to do first is sign up. Now after signing up, this is where you will be redirected. This is now inside the ClickUp app. I have currently logged in and this is the first thing you will see. This is their home page inside the ClickUp app. The first thing you're going to do here, first thing you're going to see is the lineup, trending, my work and calendar over here. These are the different features that will assist you with the tasks that you are going to do. For example, lineup, you can see your most important task over here. Trending, you can see your trending tasks, your work over here, your to-do list, comments, done and delegated over here. You can also see here on the right side, a calendar, which will allow you to see at what time of day and uh, like at what time or specific day, a specific task is assigned to. You will be able to see it on this section. Whatever task is assigned to you, it will show up here. These features that you are looking at right now at the homepage would, would help you to manage your different tasks, especially if you're an agency member and you are being given tasks by an agency manager. Or if you're a manager, you could also have your own task for your own self and you will be able to see it over here. And you will be able to see also the different tasks of your team members. Now over here on the left side, you can see that we have our search bar, our search button, task, notification, and like the dashboard over here. We could check out our task by clicking this and you will see this spaces over here. In this spaces, this is where you will be able to have like a category of different tasks assigned to you. For example, right now we are currently on the, looking at the space. You could add more spaces by simply clicking on add space over here. You could add a name. For example, we're going to go with agency just like that. Click on next. You could add designs over here, like a design for your agency, for a logo, just like that. Choose a color, click on next, and you could choose it for a workspace or a private. For private, it is more likely on people that are directly invited or like yourself. Or you could have a workspace with different members and like you could add guests to folders and all of those things. So you can click on next once again. You could add like task statuses that we want you could add them over here for example we have to do that's the most basic one and we could add another one for example done just like that and you could also add that and another one is ongoing stuff like that it depends on you on what you would like to have as a status depending on what type of agency or what type of things you would like to manage or observe in your agency you could also edit or use for content over here for a Kanban, marketing, normal, and scrum over here. You could also add statuses like I told you earlier, add them over here by clicking this and then typing them on your own. After choosing the specific task statuses that you want or after adding them in, simply click on next once again and you could choose all the different apps that you would like to have. You have priority, sprint, email, email would be important in agency, task, custom field, multiple assignees, time tracking and time estimate over here. There's also 
remap status task over here and work in progress limits you could show more by clicking this you will be able to see more over here click on next you could also see default settings for your views right now the default settings is a list always required and word over here you could add all of this other stuff if you would like click on review space and now this is our final settings or this is the setting for the space that we are creating right now simply create space and now we have our own space for agency specific as you can see here you could edit this as you can see here you could rename this section for example we could add this as team members just like that and you could add them over here could adjust this for a bit we're going to fix our spelling just like that and now we have a specific area for team members and then you could add them over here we could drag and rearrange our columns over here by clicking this holding it just like that and you will be able to rearrange them just like that and you can simply type in the task or the specific task you would like to have for a specific team member for example the first task that you would like them to do is to set up and create a clickup account so that they will be able to use it and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on save and now over here we could add an assignee we could click this and your members would appear in this section for example <clears throat> you have a team member named mark they will be appearing over here and you could click them and assign them to that specific task that we have just created right now if you would like to add some team members you can simply click this button over here and you will be able to invite people to access your space over here you can see here you can simply type in their name or their email over here and you could either set them as a member or an admin over here now as you can see we could also add a due date by clicking this calendar option over here you could add it as a due date for may 21 just like that and now we have may 21 as a due date you could enter a priority from low normal high or urgent you could set it as urgent and you will see that it has a red flag each flag color represents a different meaning and you could also re-edit this if you would like you could rename this you could change it up do whatever you want or you could also open this so that you will be able to see more information about this specific task you could add some description like make sure that the details are accurate stuff like that you could add more information you could also add it to another status like add it to checklist or subtask over here you could add subtask over here for example edit your profile stuff like that and you click on you could click on save once again you could add priority to this to urgent add a due date add a starting date and edit tags over here we're going to click and save over that now we have a sub tax within a task over here sub tasks are for extra steps for example like what i said here set up and create a click up we're going to edit this account and one of the subtasks is to edit their profile to make sure that their profile is fully set up their profile pictures are their company pictures their emails are using the proper email formatting stuff like that you could also add a checklist over here if you would like add a relationship by clicking this you could change the relationship to task dependency and doc over here you could also add files in this section you could add or upload file upload a doc from dropbox one drive box google drive or create a new google drive for this specific section you can also see here on the right side this is like a, a history of what happens like as you can see here you can see when i have created it when i have set it as an urgent when i have set the due date over here this is very good for time tracking or like seeing what happens with the task you could also see if the person you have assigned it to has opened this or has made progress you will be able to see it here you also have a time track in this section you could track how long people are working on the specific task over here by clicking this button over here this is basically for your members they will be the one who will click this so that they will be able to to see or time how long it would take them also you could also see who are watching the specific task over here you could also comment over here to like give updates stuff like that and you will be able to see it over here you could chat with your specific team member that you have added over here and you will be able to chat and talk to each other in this section you could add more than one members as you can see here you could assign more than one but right now it just tells me so it's just me over here but that's what you could do you will be able to add more members into one task now moving on you will be able to add more tasks by simply typing this and doing the same thing if you would like to remove a task you simply click this three dots over here you could merge move 
send email to task you could duplicate this convert it to add to you could delete it over here or make it to archive now you could also add more columns right now as you can see we only have assignee due date and priority you could click on add column and you could see all of this different options over here different fields like progress you could add this field name uh progress we're going to settle with that and what it will track is the subtask over here or you could change this to archive subtract or whatever task that you would like it to seek the progress to and you could also see display 100 when task is done in status or you could simply do this as you can see and we could add column and as you can see here we have a progress bar for the specific task for your specific member you could add more fields over here like a drop down box by clicking this you could have uh progress or status stuff like that click that and you could add here to do and you could add another option ongoing and another option as done or another option failed and click on add column and now where we scroll down to the left we will see strata status over here we have to do ongoing done and failed over here you could actually add colors to this like for to do you could do with maybe yellow for ongoing maybe blue we have for done is green and for failed is red then click on save and when you click this they will be able to see colors just like this and that's it for creating a task you could do more columns if you would like and you could also rearrange them like i said earlier by doing this by dragging them around just like that now it will take a lot of time to fully set up your space over here to fully make it into an agency so you could also do something else like click on add space once again click on templates and you will be able to see all the different templates available in the community you're simply going to search for agency and you will be able to see different agency related templates that you could use for your click up over here as you can see here we have agency for social media agency management over here travel agency and all of this different agency over here you simply choose whatever you would like or whatever space or template applies to the type of agency that you are and you can simply click on use template use template once again and it's going to create a space as you can see here on the bottom left so you're simply going to wait for it to generate the space for you and as you can see here we have our social media agency space over here right now it's uh being fixed yet so we're going to wait for it we can see our marketing over here and now as you can see here over on the left side it is slowly creating our template of for our agency over here we have business client acquisition and all of this other stuff and that's it guys that's how you can use ClickUp for agency hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching